point. Well, Governor and Mrs. Lowry's aggressive campaign to control the public's perception of a sexual harassment scandal has prompted his accusers' lawyers to warn that the campaign is inappropriate and should stop. Governor Lowry responded by saying that the words inappropriate and stop mean nothing to him. <laughs> King County Executive Gary Locke met with President Clinton last Monday to talk about the Seahawks. After Locke explained the grave situation with the team's relocation to California, Clinton thought for a moment and then asked, hey, what's the deal with your hair? To join Microsoft's previously all-male board is Jill Burrard, president of the Mattel Company, who is credited with bringing back the Barbie doll. She was chosen over two other women, one credited with, credited with bringing back the Betsy Wetsy doll, and the other with bringing back Chatty Cathy. <laughs> the Port of Seattle says it has met the noise reduction requirements to expand SeaTac Airport. When the port commissioner was asked how big the expansion would be, he said, What? <laughs> The Vice President for Student Affairs at the Evergreen State College has recommended giving guns to campus security, but wants to explore other options first. His first option would be to stop giving students five credits for committing armed robbery. <laughs> A test road made out of old shredded automobile tires near Spokane had to be closed because it keeps bursting into flames. <laughs> Plans have already been made to rebuild this road, this time using shredded oily rags and matches. <laughs> well, the Seattle Home Show will be held at the Kingdom February 17th through the 25th. At least it will if a massive earthquake doesn't crush the Kingdom first. <laughs> The state Senate rejected a law that would impound the beds of known prostitutes. A proponent of the bill was disappointed, saying that Sonny Kobe Cook had already agreed to recycle the old mattresses to charity. There's been a lot 